um, something called phase cancellation and what phasing is. Does anybody know if you were in a room that didn't echo, an anechoic chamber, and you had two violinists that could play exactly the same note, and they were bowing in opposite directions, so their strings were vibrating exactly opposite, and you were able to get a microphone or your ear right in between, right in between those two violins, what would happen? Chris, don't tell. <laughs> Any idea? Theoretically, you would not hear a sound. They would cancel each other out. You know, yeah, okay, well, that's theory. Mm. What happens if I take a microphone and I put it on the bottom of a, a snare drum? And then I take this, another microphone and I put it on the top of a snare drum and I put it at exactly, each one at exactly the same volume. And you're saying, well, what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to get the sound of the snares, but I also want the sound of the top of the drum. Well, you now have an opportunity of picking up waves. Well, they're, they're going like this, but your, your mics are picking them up from opposite direction. And just depending on where you are away from those two drum heads, the top one and the bottom, bottom one, you may very well lose a piece of that sound. Maybe not all of it, maybe not perfectly, but phase cancellation can come into play. Next thing happens is I'm standing here or I've got two speakers and I'm creating a bunch of sound. It goes to the back of the room. It bounces off the back of the room and you've got waves beginning to cross each other. Wherever those waves cross each other, you have an opportunity to lose a piece of the sound. And you have an opportunity to, uh, to uh, um, just you know, flat out make it sound bad, but also get really confusing. Like um, your friend came in late and stood at the very back of the room and had a frown on, on their, their face all night long and, and seemed to be really grumpy about it. But there's a reason the cheap seats are in the back. And, you know, the, the sound back there is not very good. And the reason the sound not, back there is unpredictable and not very good is because um, not only does your speaker have to project all the way back there, but you're, you're coming into places in the room where you very well may have phase cancellation. And it's the sound's bouncing off the ceiling, not as much. It's bouncing off the back of the room, it's bouncing off the side. And these things have a tendency to cross, and wherever the waves cross, frequencies are going to start disappearing, and you can't predict it. 